afternoon, South Africa, and a very warm welcome to you. This is Afternoon Express, this glorious Thursday afternoon, and my name is Jeannie D. Now, pursuing your passion may seem difficult at first, but today's guests are proving that following your passion and daring the odds are the main ingredients to making your dreams come true. So first up on our guest list, we meet Nigerian-born recording artist and performer Noble J, who will be performing his brand new single, Wavy, live in the loft. Then we meet inspirational entrepreneur and self-taught chef and Misong Gwabe, who is famously known for making it to the top 12 finalists of a well-known cooking show in South Africa. And he's co-founded various businesses that gained him huge international attention. And for Fashion Express those days, we chat to Courtney Mitchell, who is launching her clothing label, Namakwa KP, after years of working with underprivileged children in her community. So many inspirational stories today in the loft. Now remember, you stand a chance to attend the show-stopping Sun Met this January by winning an incredible Incredible, incredible VVIP experience, luxury to the max, to the value of 30,000 Rand. So enter on the competition post that is posted on the Afternoon Express Facebook page by commenting on the post, describing what outfit you would wear if you won the SunMed competition. This year, the theme is African luxury, precious jewels, precious metals. That's what it is. <laughs> Welcome to Afternoon Express, and as I say, it's quarter to the weekend, it being a Thursday. My name is Balisa Dembe, and I'm here with my gorgeous best friend in the kitchen, oh, Chef Clem. <laughs> Amazing. By the way, when you said Thursday, I was like, what day of the week is it? Yeah. I'm still kind of in the festive season where you don't really know what the day of the week is. No, we're definitely on a Thursday, and I want our viewers to get into the weekend spirit, slowly but surely, and I think we'll be doing a good job in the kitchen today. Absolutely, but that's what is going to bring you right into the new year. We're packing lunch boxes today. Mm. Not just for kitties, for adults as well. So important because I always think we leave ourselves out when it comes to I packing know. lunches. But we have to eat, we have to be sustained throughout the day, mm -hmm. and concentration has to be on point. Exactly. And today's lunchbox is going to deliver all those things. So no more like lunchtime, hops to like the yeah. shop across the road. No. 2019, we're packing lunch boxes. Oh, I can't wait for that. Now, our first guest today is a stylish musician who goes by the name of Noble J. Now, Noble hails all the way from Nigeria, but has made his mark in the South African music industry through his collaborations with the country's top musicians. Now, after developing a multi-genre sound consisting of Afro-pop, dancehall and hip-hop trap he is well on his way to becoming a favorite in our music scene now he's recently teamed up with moonchild and tipsy on his latest song called hold something have a look <laughs> on a Thursday to get us in the party mood. Wow, yeah. That's amazing, really nice energy. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Let's start off with Noble J. Where yeah. did the name come from? Um, Noble J, um, J is my middle name. Yeah. And Noble is the kind of personality I have. Yeah. And um, um, I said by people around me, it's the kind of personality that I portray. Yeah. You know, so it's just about me, and then Jay is just my middle name. Yeah. You know, that's what it. What a great characteristic to have, to be noble. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm grateful for that. So you're from Nigeria originally. Yeah, I'm from Nigeria. Uh, tell us your journey coming across to, to South Africa. Oh, it's been amazing. I've been here for a while now. Yeah. Though I often go home and come to South Africa and some other places I have to go in, yeah. like, around. You know, it's been amazing, and it's been great. Why do you started music in 2014? Yeah, officially. So how long have you been here for? I've been here um, since 2010. I've been in and oh, out really? of South Africa. Okay. And why South Africa? Why did you want to come here, especially to, I suppose, plant the seeds and lay your foundation for your music career? It's a beautiful place to be, you know. So um, I'm love to be here, and it's really amazing. Although I do go home, two yeah. things I have to do back home in Nigeria, and I believe that like I'm a very I'm very cool and okay here. 
Yeah, you know, it is. So. A, I mean, it is an amazing place. It's I do say so myself. But I'm always like, I don't know why it's so surprising because I think it seems so natural and it seems like it's something that should be happening a lot more. Yeah. Is when Nigerian artists or actors and stuff come to South Africa, and and our artists go there. I think it should be more intercontinentally spread, if that makes sense for you. Yeah. So, do you think that that kind of bridge between countries exists? so that you can kind of perform in South Africa and do well, and have success in South Africa as well as in Nigeria and kind of share that success across both, both yeah. countries. Yeah, it happens because, you know, what I do is like I'm into a different kind of sound, yeah. you know, so I'm not just a hip-hop artist, I'm into a different kind of sound. So yeah. for me, it's, it's possible. Exactly. Yeah. I think Nigeria in particular is notorious for dance hall, Afrobeat. Afro Afrobeat. But now your passion is kind of unique, but also gom, gom, gom. Did yeah, I say that I right? just gom. call it gom. gom, gom. I just had this way to pronounce gom. it. I just can <laughs> only, I can only say gom, like gom. Gom. gom, gom. I can't say it. I also can say it. Yeah. So well, and yet it's your genre. Yes, I'm pleased <laughs> to hear that. Okay, so why did you pick that as your favorite genre? Well, I like the sound. It's really amazing. Yeah, it is. You know, and High it's energy. a kind of yeah, it's a kind of South African local sound. You know, and it's been doing so well. Like the likes of Babes Wadumo and all that. They've been doing so good, like beyond Africa with the yeah. same sound. You know, so I'm so in love with the sound that I came up with the sound and I had to feature some big um, names in the industry in South Africa, which is the likes of Tipsy yeah. and Moonchild. Both of them have been like the, the so known in South Africa. Sure. You know, so it was actually also great working with them and sharing the idea with them and that, like the whole thing. So yeah. It was amazing. South African music is, I mean, it's come such a long way. And our musicians are so good. I realized that I went to the Global Citizens concert. Yeah. And obviously they had majority international acts. And I think after Jay-Z and Beyonce, Casper yeah. came on stage. Yeah. And it blew my mind when you see our local artists sharing a stage with international, how good they are. Like Casper was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. What kind of impact or power do you think, or influence do you think our local artists, including you, will have internationally, especially in GOM and hip hop? Well, it's, it's, it's awesome, and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna keep being great, you yeah. know, because right now, like Africa is taking the music to the whole world, and yeah. people are loving the music, not just Nigeria, not just outside Africa, but the whole Africa. Yeah. So now it's a way of like Africa music to the world. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, it's awesome and it's affecting the whole world in a good way yeah. and they're loving it and they're coming for us like get to know our sound, our music and they're loving it yeah. and they're buying the whole idea. And Moonchild is just something else. She is she so is talented. She is freaky, like she's too good. Like she is amazing. She's something else. I can't, I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of her internationally. I think she's, she's going to be been, snapped up. She's been international. Yeah. Like, I think she was touring with Dianne Furt at one point as well. Like far away, like she's been, she's been everywhere. Yeah. And she's, she's been doing great and she like, she's getting the feedback. Like people are loving her and she's quite amazing. Yeah. And so is Tipsy, you know. Yeah. So what have fans been, how, how have they been responding to your music? Wow. Have you been touring a lot and people just going nuts for your sound? Yeah, um, it's been great. They've been loving it. And you know, I'm still still making my way. Yeah. So I can't just, I, I can just say now I own it, but yeah. I'm still making my way and it's been good. And I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited so far. Yeah. You know, it's been great. But listen, you really are good. I mean, you're going to be performing a little bit later. You're going to be performing Wavy. Yeah, I'm going to be performing my single Wavy. That's my latest single right now. Yeah. And it's so Wavy. What's it about? It's just, um, it's a very encouraging song. Yeah. But it's, I think I can say it's made for me, like, I did yeah. it for myself. But I'm a huge, huge hip hop fan. Like, if you, but if you listen to, I don't know if you heard that one diss by Machine Gun Kelly that he did to Eminem, and then Eminem's response. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they are just so good. What do you think it takes to be a good hip hopper? Well, you just need to know what you're doing. Yeah. And I believe that whoever is coming into into such thing knows exactly that you gotta know that this is what you have to do, yeah. and this is what you're good at. Yeah. So because you love it, you must make sure every day you. Keeping yourself good, like you're upgrading yeah, yourself. Stay on top to, of your game. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, I can't wait to listen to you perform Wavy. Oh, That's going to awesome. be happening in the loft a little bit later. Oh, good. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm blessed.
We're taking Gom International. What a way to kick off our Thursday, heating us up slowly but surely into the weekend. Now, after the break, we head into the kitchen with Chef Clem for some lunchbox inspiration to give a tasty yet healthy snack for your little ones. See you after the break. Clover Crush, 100% pure fruit juice packed with vitamins and no added sugar. Crush, your daily dose of goodness. Now also available in Long Life. With love by Clover. Nutri Kids, good for mom, way better for kids. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express and thank you so much for choosing us on this Thursday. Now toddlers can be fussy eaters, but with the Clover Nutri Kids range, caring for your kids' nutrients can be made a little easier. Kids are back at school and we'll be sharing some lunchbox inspiration that will help you pack a tasty and healthy lunch. To get the list of ingredients you'll need for these yummy ideas, SMS the keyword Clover to 33650. SMSs are charged at 1950 and free SMSs do not apply. Clem, where do we begin? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about lunch boxes, right? Yeah. Cool. So, I was very privileged. I was a lunch box hero on the playground. Okay? Were you that kid where everyone wanted to swap their lunch boxes yes. with? And I feel like I missed out an opportunity to almost like sell my lunch oh, yeah, on the you playground. Should have. Okay. I mean, it was kids like me who just had the same old, same old every day, that peanut butter and butter. I always used to swap with kids like you with like the corn, yeah. cheeses, and the, and the milk. Yes. I love that. I had like a five course, like restaurant style little lunch. Parents, thank you so much. Show thank us you. how it's done, okay. though. Now, I'm going to take, take my skills right now. Okay, cool. And we're going to build this box. So, okay. very, very important. Kids are as active and your nutritional needs are as demanding as adults. Very true. Yeah. Your little, your little person, little brain, everything's like organs are growing, body's growing. Mm. They need the nutrients. And like, the problem is kids actually don't get the nutrients they need in a lunchbox. Yeah. Exactly. And you need those to concentrate and to learn. So, let's talk about the first thing. Very, in fact, they're not receiving enough dairy and nutrients in their diet. We helping them, gotcha. hitting them with the Nutri Kids. Okay, that's all in there already, done. And that's going in there. What I absolutely love about these little okay. juices. Say I'm, I'm sorry okay. to cut you off. Go. But this little juice took me back to primary school. You know when you had those little uh, juice boxes, juice juice lunch boxes, uh -huh. and you had to put the plastic over it so it doesn't leak in your lunch box? This, 
100% takes care of that because it comes pre-sealed for you, perfect size for exactly. your lunchbox. With the and there'll, screw be in the back. No, there'll be no leakages, there's no Ever. plastic that you have to <laughs> add to the lid. So what did you do with that when it was done? Oh, when it was, okay, so I opened it up, uh -huh. I blew it up, yes. threw it on the ground. And then you, bah! You stomped That's it the and way. it makes a huge, like, flash. Okay, <laughs> we're throwing back to 2000, no, no, the 2019, 19. The 90s, but it doesn't matter because we're old, it's fine. Okay, it's fine, <laughs> let's go. So, Nutri-Kids is in there, that the juice, juice bit is in there. Hit it with a little bit of these pre-packed um, cheeses. You can oh, actually put that in that. there if you like. That's great because the portion size is perfect. It comes in the portion already. Okay. Pop it in there, super, super easy. Next thing. We can focus, focusing on crunchy, mm. creamy. Mm. Creamy is going to come from our NutriKids and from our NutriKids yogurt. That's going to yes. be our creamy. Okay. For our crunchy, very important. We're going to go with some veggies, okay? Okay. And kids don't really like vegetables. You no, think so that? you have to kind of fool yeah. the kids into eating them. If you change the shape of it, right? Instead of it like matchsticks or batons, like we've done over here, these yeah. are carrots, cucumbers, and celery. They're going to love it because it's like a little stick. Pop it, eat it happy. Oh, that goes happy. in your lunchbox. And then grapes. Grapes are amazing. Mm. Little capsules of energy. They're really, really amazing. And People they're great with sugar contents because exactly. I know with the, with the NutriKids range, there's no added sugar. Exactly. So it's 100% healthy. I know in the, in the uh, yogurts, there is no artificial colorants in it. You've been doing your homework. I've been doing my homework because I've been seeing this as amazing options for my mm -hmm. nieces and my nephews in their lunchboxes. But I'm trying to keep it healthy. I want to keep that protein on. I want to keep Keep that calcium in there you and the vitamin are? B12, it's all go. packed in this clover. Amazing, it's done. So, so, for some added crunch, I've added some sprouts, okay? Oh, nice. okay? Not nuts. Here's the thing you might not be allergic to nuts, your kid might not be, but then on the playground, and then they share with Johnny, who is allergic. And then? We don't want to catch on then, our hands. No, no, no. So rather don't go for, for nuts and seeds, rather go for other crunchy, crunchy okay. bits like your sprouts, like the veggies. Avoid the nuts and the seeds, okay? Then, very interactive, lychees. Give this one like lychees. My tip, freeze them the night before. Okay. So when you actually have it, they thaw it out, but they're still nice and chilled. And who doesn't love peeling a lychee? Peeling a lychee is so much fun, but I enjoy the actual lychee more than actually peeling So give it. kids stuff to do with their hands. Get them involved with the lunch. Okay. Very, very important. Last thing, pack them a sandwich. Don't make it soggy now you do that. Oh, how? Put the non-soggy things in the middle. So like ham or your sandwich meat on the outside, cheese on the other outside, and they're not the gonna go soggy. Egg. Tomato always in the middle. And if you want to be even, like, take a next step, all of, like, a lot of the water comes from the center bit of the tomato. Yes. Remove that. And just give them, like, the more outer side of the tomato. And it won't take away from any of the nutrients Not and the all. benefits of having no. a tomato. Plant the seeds, grow some more tomatoes. Oh, I love that. Guys, we are taking lunchboxes into the next year. To the next level. I hated a soggy lunchbox. Mm -mm. So this seems perfect, ladies and gentlemen, for your children. This is absolutely amazing. Remember to SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 for these ideas. The kids are certainly going to enjoy these colorful lunchboxes. And so on and go and try it. What's good for mommy is even better for the kids. Nutri Kids, good for mom, way better for kids. Made with love by Clover. So we get all the secrets on being a successful entrepreneur as we chat to self-taught chef Ndomiso Ngabe after the break. Plus, Clem shows us some key elements of a healthy adult lunchbox that'll help to keep you going throughout the day. Clover Crush, 100% pure fruit juice packed with vitamins and no added sugar. Crush, your daily dose of goodness. Now also available in Long Life. Made with love by Clover.
to Afternoon Express. I trust that you are having a fantastic Thursday afternoon. Now, most people tend to give up after the hardship of not being able to further their tertiary studies. But for Ndomiso Mwabe, this trial pushed him to become an entrepreneur. Now, the self-taught chef is the co-founder of the successful bars equipped company, which was featured on a popular international news show as one of the best mobile bar companies in Africa. Now, to add on to that, he's also changing the way that we eat Amaguinia after co-founding Mavezi's <laughs> Gourmet Cafe in Durban. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you, Jen? Really, really good. Thanks. You know, I don't believe that there's such a thing as coincidence. Yeah. I believe that things happen in your life and then you make decisions that create knock-on effects exactly. to end up to the end goal. Yeah. So you finished school, you ended up going to university. What were you going to, what were you studying or what did you start studying? So I finished school and couldn't go to university. Okay. Um, so what I had an opportunity. So I wanted to be a political analyst, mind okay. you. Um, I was very into politics and it was something that, you know, just drove me to just do better. Yeah. But um, that wasn't possible just due to a lot of circumstance. Yeah. But um, the circumstance didn't really affect me in any way because it was something that I was aware of and was very present to, you know. Yeah. And I think that was the most powerful thing that I could ever do for myself. Yeah. Um, and I got an opportunity to just go into an industry that I'd never thought sure. I'd ever go into. Did you start at the bottom? Like, did you start Definitely. Bar, bar, like bartending at a club or so, a bar? So I had a nine to five, um, which was basically the learnership that um, I got into after high school. And then a mate of mine um, who now lives in London, my camp just said, dude, let's go bartend over weekends, yeah. you know? Um, we used to do it for a mobile bar company back then, and it was fun, it was extra money. So yeah. we were doing, we weren't spending money over the weekend, we were making it. Exactly. And as barmen, I fell in love with the trade, basically. Yeah. And that was obviously the birth. And then did you start your own? So yeah. working for a mobile bar company and then started so, your own? So we basically, I saw a gap in the market where they weren't really targeting. Yeah. And that was our black market member souls every weekend. You know, yeah. there's always Mzimbi <coughs> for us. And there's always lots of booze and lots of yeah. things to yeah. do. So yeah. it was definitely something that, just, um, that I could sell to people that, you know, were managing their own events and just take a bit of a headache away from them. Exactly. You know, and that's, that's the birth of Bars Equipped. And then I think you did so well. Was it that that got the attention of CNN and yes, made a profile? Yes, yes, yes. So I mean, that's that's the baby. That's the baby. Um, CNN came through at a very awkward time because yes, we we'd done so well in the industry, yeah. but for CNN to come through and say, "Hey, let's do a feature," yeah, it was something beyond yeah, amazing. That's huge. That yeah. is huge. What yeah. did it do for your business? Oh, it took it to, to the next level, yeah. really. Um, a few weeks just after the interview was aired, um, a call from Ghana came through. Yeah. I'm like, Ghana, what's going on here? <laughs> you know, but I built a beautiful relationship with the lady, Vanessa, who was having an event. We ended up even training staff at a, at a hotel there. And that's basically just how much of an impact yeah. we've made. So you're international now. <laughs> Definitely. Now, you, you d didn't ever train as, as a cook or a chef. You taught yourself, yeah. but then went on to enter MasterChef. Hey, I mean, I mean. <laughs> that, was, that was something that, that for me took me by surprise. Yeah. You know, entering MasterChef wasn't a decision that I made. Mates of mine and um, Lungi, who was on, on the show yeah. um, this first season, was like, do you cook? We know you love to cook. Yeah. What do you have to lose? Yeah, it's obviously very good. Exactly. So, I mean, people enjoy my food. Yeah. I don't know what's in it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a crazy journey where I've now even started a company which is now four years old, yeah. Cipenati Foods. Amazing. And the private chef game is where I play. Yeah. And that is doing very well, extremely well. 
We're going to have to actually get you back on the show so that you can make us a gourmet amaguinha. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can't well, wait. I really enjoy yeah. it, actually. Do you like amaguinha? I love amaguinha. You know what? I That's can't have it all the time because, like, <laughs> well, for obvious reasons. I mean, you know. I don't want to look like a fed cook. <laughs> <laughs> that, that idea was actually such a, it was a by the by, you know. Yeah. And it, it, we, we, Muzi and I, a mate of mine, took the idea just from a conversation that we had. I had a space that was available, and he said, why not? You know, and we, we needed to just touch that nostalgia in yeah. people to say, this was a staple, but let's see how yeah. it can change. What do you add to it to make it gourmet? Jeez, we've got, we've got a lot of things. We've got um, just... Uh, obviously, the area that we're in in the coffee shop, mm. so um, it's cheesy Russians. We can add chicken strips to it. We can add a, add a mushroom sauce to it. Yeah. It's basically whatever you you, you yeah. want at the time. So, so it's build your own amaguinha. That's it. <laughs> that's it. And it's and, and you know talking about adding to that nostalgia, you named it after your mom. Um, yeah. So Mavezi is actually uh, Muzi's mom. Okay. So um, Mavezi is her s a maiden surname, okay. and it's the first of many. So, Mavezi... Is that what the name means? The Mavezi. Oh, yeah. what a clever so name. So, it's, yeah, that, that, that's it. So, you're going to start franchising it? Definitely. Or? That is brilliant, and what a great name. Thank you so much. So, so smart. Thank oh, you. you are clever. <laughs> <laughs> There's no stopping you. I mean, you're young, you've got so many businesses. But just before we go, because I know we are a li little bit limited for time, I want yeah. to know... Because your story is so inspiring, and it's one that Thank I think you. a lot of people should try and emulate that similar kind of business model yeah. to what you've achieved. Especially, you know, you weren't able to go to university, you made the best. And you're probably doing better than had you, you know, gotten a degree. I, I, what I, advice I, can you give to some people who are struggling because of the, the lack of funds? And I mean, you need b the capital to start yeah, a business. You do. How do you work around those little yeah. things to achieve what you have? I think what people mostly focus on is just the circumstance that prevents them from moving forward. Yeah. And that shouldn't be a bridge yeah. against any future that you foresee yourself enjoying. Yeah. Um, the world, as the cliche says, is your oyster. Yeah. And circumstance should actually be the other way around. It should work in your favor, and you beat that because, I mean, what other choice do you have? Yeah. You know, um, we've got legacies to live um, or to leave behind and to live. Yeah. And if we don't start them now, we, I, th I, I, I don't think uh, any generation is ever going to follow anything. Yeah. So, And yeah. you have. And I mean, uh, looking at your Instagram, your kids look <laughs> up to you. You're such a good dad. And you Thank certainly you so are. Much. The, like, you, you are creating and, an unbelievable And those are the piece. people that we're supposed to actually be creating futures for. Yeah. You know, Katini and Noyaba have changed my life in a way that I've always been responsible, but I'm more responsible now. Yeah. And the discipline is so much more. No, you are killing it. You are such an inspiration. Thank you so much Thank for being on the so show. Thank you so much. Can't wait to have you back to teach me how to make a gourmet gourmet Let's amaguinha. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> do it. Thank you. Clover fresh milk is way better. Made with love by Clover. Look, we might not be making gourmet amaguinha today, but hopefully we can get Undumiso in the kitchen sometime soon to show us how he truly throws down. Now, Clover Authenticas is a new, deliciously creamy, thick and nutrients range of Greek-styled yogurts. Infused with 10 vitamins, it is ideal for enjoying during snacking moments or definitely an item to add to your lunchbox. And speaking of packing lunchboxes, Clem will be showing us some key elements that you will need for a healthy adult lunchbox that will keep you going throughout the day. So if you would like to get the list of ingredients that you will need for this lunchbox, SMS lunch to 33650. SMSs are charged at 1150 and free SMSs do not apply. Clem, where do we start? Because as we said earlier, this mm -hmm. is something that is so key, critical, pivotal to our day that we it simply is overlook. It's very, very important. So we're going to work on the same factors crunchy, yeah. creamy, and then fruity and colorful. So for our, let's talk about crunchy. I want to talk about the crunchy, okay? okay? So, Pali, what are my items I say for crunchy? Are these sprouts, right? Yeah. You just tried sprouts for the first time ever in your life? I did. I tried 
I tried like, sprouts for the first time because I was like, we keep speaking about this on the show. Mm -hmm. I need to know what I'm speaking about. Whoa! So about a minute ago, you <laughs> tried this, okay? And you, you weren't a fan. Look, I, I wasn't. It just tastes like I dug something up off the ground and I put it in my mouth. But I guess that's what the yeah. beauty of sprouts is. It tasted are. like nature. Like pure nature, <laughs> pure nature. But it's you should okay have seen her face. It was insane. Okay. It's very nutrient dense though, so if you do like it, add it to your lunchbox. I okay. won't put it in your lunchbox. Please it's don't. Fine. I'll go with the nut option there we go. because I'm not going to be sharing my lunch with anyone who's got nut allergies. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll go. I'll go exactly. For the so cashews. you're an adult. You know what you're allergic to. You can kind of like uh, other adults around you should know as well. Yes. So take nuts to work. They're great. They're packed full of healthy fats. So it's definitely the way to go. Also at three o'clock, we need that bit of a slump. Yes. Nuts are the best way to go. Not only that. But our beautiful creamy, which is authenticos, is made with an original Greek strain of yogurt. I mean, that's amazing. It is that so is. delicious, so amazing. Perfect size as well. So I would suggest these for your three o'clock snack. What okay? is your favorite flavor, do you think, of Clover Authenticos? Like you get the strawberry, uh -huh. you get the honey. I am such a huge fan of the sweetened double cream. That's my favorite as well, Ooh. I was gonna say that. But you're gonna see like over the next few weeks how we're actually using different recipes. Okay. But the plain one, I like that one. Yeah, keep yeah it absolutely. Simple. Cool. So, spoke about our crunchy and our creamy. Another one of the crunchy is these digestive biscuits. Nice. Also really good. Perfect for snacking. And snacking is actually the way to get through your day. Mm. Do a lot, lot, lot of small little meals, which is why we use a tiffin box. Okay. Like layers of meals. So you can kind of snack throughout the day. It'll keep you going. But that three o'clock slump is so Yo, real. listen, that so afternoon, real. that's when you need the bed next to your office bed and you just kind of take a nap there because it is KO over done. It's absolutely yeah. true. But also what I like about this Clover mm -hmm. Authenticos, it's such a good supplement for your protein and it's got it 18 amino acids. It's packed full of nutrients. So you know that you're putting the right things in your body. There we go. Yeah. The one good thing, another thing about um, fruit and vegetables is you can eat according to seasons when you, like, you, know, you have yes. a fridge at the office, right? You know we do. We have quite a few fridges Quite a office. few fridges, and I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> so fruits like berries, which normally go soft in a kiddie's lunchbox, they don't yes. have a fridge, take that to work and have that at the office, and you'll have chilled fruit throughout the day. Oh, perfect. So pack fresh fruit, very, very important. Okay. So now, we just kind of showed you some of our lunchboxes, like, quite amazing. But, like, I want to hear some horror stories. Like, maybe from our viewers out there, what is the one thing your parent put in your lunchbox that you cannot believe they did to you. Yeah. That one well, kid had the boiled egg sandwich. But I actually want to really know from our viewers. You know, sometimes in that office, people to kind of snag your lunch. They snag your yogurt. They snag your milk. What is the most stolen item out of your office fridge? I want to know. Tweet me at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express. And I want to find out what do people nab from your lunch box? I want to almost say name and shame if you actually found that. Name horrible. and shame that Who colleague. Does that? <laughs> no, no, no. That cannot happen. It can happen. Because so, some horrible uh, lunch box stories, the, those boiled egg sandwiches, right? Okay. Yeah, and you definitely can't open a boiled egg sandwich in the classroom. No. Oh, well, look at you like, <laughs> I know all about it. Trust me, no. I was one of those guilty parties growing up because I love myself a good egg sandwich, but not many people were a fan of me thereafter. Okay, that's fine. It's okay. We like you now. <laughs> We like me now. Thank you so much, Clem. I think our viewers are absolutely clued up when it comes to packing your lunch for the day, whether it's school or whether it's in the office. And thanks to Authenticast, keeping healthy is no longer a daunting task. Remember to SMS lunch to 33650 if you would like to get these ideas sent back to you if you on the health wagon. Clover Fresh Milk is way better. Made with love by Clover. All right, it's now all things Fashion Express after the break as fashion designer Courtney Mitchell showcases her brand new line from her new label, Namako KP.
you Afternoon Express this fantastic Thursday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Now, after putting her dreams on hold to help the underprivileged children in her community, Courtney Mitchell has decided that 2019 will be the year she launches her brand new clothing label, Namakwa KP. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Wow, you've had quite a life and this is going to be your, your year. New year, new me. Yes. Tell us about the name Namakwa KP. Where did the idea come okay, from? Okay, so the name um, basically just comes from my parents. My mommy grew up in Namakwa land. Yeah. And then my father is originally from Cape Town. And so I just basically just wanted to merge the two. And obviously the, both of the cultures and just... Um, just growing up, we always went for holidays to Namakwaland and then obviously in Cape Town as well. So just bringing those two elements together. Now, what happened? What was your story? Were you going into the fashion business? Had you already established a label and then decided, actually, the girls in my community need yeah. me? Um, so growing up, I, I basically didn't have any, any type of aspirations or dreams. And so um, I basically just fell into fashion. Um, I, th I think it was like three years ago. So I was always doing community work, like always involved with other NGOs or doing youth work. And so, but I've always like done something on the side. And then um, I think it was in 20 2016. And then I started with um, the fashion, but I mean, I can't draw to save my life. And so it was just basically all of the creativity that I had and also just the passion of wanting to do something different in my community that will draw the young people. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But working in your community, I mean, seeing such stories that kind of drove you to help mm. out and say, I'm here, Toma Mina, I'm here to help. What was it about engaging with the community that kind of mm. kept you coming back? Yeah, it's, it's a good question and it's, it's actually very hard especially in the, in the community that I work in, it's, a, it's predominantly a colored community. And so there are so many hopeless um, teenagers. And um, for me, if I, if I look at my life, obviously my life wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. And so just having that resilience and so telling them, okay, I, I went through certain things, but I mean, at the end of the day, you always bounce back. Mm -hmm. And so even if it's like maybe a year, you, you take a break from everything and then you just go back into it again. But I mean to give them that hope because that's all that ev anyone else needs. Yeah. So, what kind yeah. of things would you deal with in the community? And what community are you talking about? I'm from East River, okay. so that's in the northern suburbs. Um, I think it's, it's, it's things that we hear about a lot. It's, it's gangsterism. And so in our community, you don't necessarily see the people shooting, but I mean people die at night. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. So it's and like is that an what these kids are thing. confronted with every single day? Yeah, every single day you have young um, young teens being used by the gangsters, obviously, to do break-ins or stuff like that. And so it's very difficult. I mean, as women, like, well, what do I do to kind of, you know, stop and say that is a child that you are, you know, busy using yeah. for your own gain? Yeah. And so it's very difficult in that regard. And what kind of work would you do with them? Would you pull them out of their gangs and out of their environment and try and do some rehabilitative work with no, them? No, I, I don't. I can't, I am very emotional. So I don't think that I, I would rather do something fun. So that's why I would maybe with the girls, I would do, um, we speak about fashion or we speak about just mm. things that they like, just to make them forget about what is happening at home. Yeah. And so we've made little cute things and just showing them basically what I did, how to make a pattern or what the basic block mm. is, just things that they can say, okay, so now I can do it as well. And even if I don't have a machine, I can do it with a, with a hand needle as well. Yeah. So what was the turning point in your life now when you decided, okay, now's the time for me to launch this brand? Wow, I think, um, if I think of what is happening at the moment in our communities, I think I'm so tired. And so I just feel like it's time now that instead of just saying, um, I'm, I'm doing this and I'm doing that, like actually telling people, you know what, I've been through a lot. And um, can I speak of records? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like I would basically tell them like, what you did, you did it Like, yeah. you know, just bring sure. it that way. Yeah. And so like, I think that the more, the more real we are about our story, about, mm. our, pain, about our pain, like that really, um, you know, it tells people, okay, I've also been through that. Yeah. And so I can also yeah. come out of that situation yeah. and, you know, leap for something different and greater. Yeah, uh, for and, Yeah, mm. and, <laughs> and from, yes, what I understand, from what I see, <laughs> you used fashion as an escape yeah. with the young girls. And for yourself, what was it about fashion yeah. that kind of ex takes you to another world and kind of t out of that difficult circumstance? I think there's so many things about fashion. Like if I think of makeup and hair and um, 
especially just with this range, um, it's the reason why I did it was because of Sarah Bartman. And I mean, all of us know our story. And so I'm just always asking myself, just, just imagine if she knew what was happening now. I mean, I'm not the first one that is making something to represent and celebrate her life. Mm. But I mean, if she could see what is happening now after the way she was treated and, you know, criticized because of her body. So just the, the celebration of people in general and just, you know, everyone is different the way we look. And so just highlighting those things. And so that's what's so fun And I suppose it. that there's a freedom that comes with creation yeah. and comes yeah. with fashion. <laughs> and it's a freedom out of whatever circumstance you come with. Yes. And to explore yourself and it, it celebrate yourself. Yeah. So you've got our first model lined up. I'm so yes. excited to see your range. Okay. Oh, I love that okay, color. So, so this is the Sarah Bartman dress. This dress I made like in my first semester at college. And so this dress will always be in the range because it's basically the inspiration of everything. Wow. So why did you choose Sarah Batman as an icon, an iconic uh, figure to put on your pieces? Yeah. The thing is, I feel like her story is very sad. And so I think that we need to stop focusing on the sad things that happens in our life mm -hmm. and then just turn it around and say, OK, I've been through that, but now let me make something beautiful out of it. And so basically just enhancing the African body, the, the curves and everything, and, you know, letting women just celebrate that. There's such a beautiful linear story between Sarah Badman's stories and the ladies that you help yes. in your communities. Yeah. I think that it's all about overcoming at the end of the day. Yeah. We've got our second look lined up. Okay, so this is a, is a handkerchief look, and this was inspired just by um, the flowers in Namakwalan. So every spring, like people from all over the world basically go to Namakwalan just for the flowers. And so just having that fresh feeling and just the greenery, I just wanted to have something playful just to enhance that. It is super playful. I mean, I'm a huge fan of crop tops. Yeah. And I think that flower <coughs> crop top matched with a high-waisted white denim because I'm quite a small mm. girl. Yeah. So I like it looking very sleek, sleek and lean, but that, that crop is a must-have, I feel. Yeah. yeah. Super cute. And I also really like the attention paid to the Khoisan people. Yeah. I think that's really great. How, I mean, obviously because of your family, yeah. It's obviously something quite important to you. All right, tell us about this look. Oh, so this is also um, just the, the desert in the Namakwa land and just the orange sand. So that is just why I add the copper and the satin just to give it that luxurious look as well. And then the beading is also hand, hand beaded. And just to give it that high low effect, so just to show her curves, but also not to show her curves. Yeah, it's kind of flirty. Yeah. Um, is there any specific notes that you've put to the colors that you've used? I can see that the colors that you use look mm. so amazing on the darker skin yeah. and the darker mm. tones. Yeah. And so with her, she Heather has like, you know, greenish eyes. And so mm. that will obviously pop out the eyes and also just the skin tone as well. And I see that you've also decided to match your models with no shoes. Why yes. is that? Um... I think we, we put so much effort in just thinking about shoes and so like let's not have shoes and so all of these designs is very versatile. You can wear it up or down mm -hmm. or you just cannot wear any, any shoes at all. So where do you, where do you foresee your, your fashion line going? What do you want to come of it? For me, I'm a very social person so um, I would want it to start a conversation. So if someone had to see the beadwork on it and then obviously they ask about it and then the conversation goes from there exactly. but I want it to be a, a conversation of okay so tell us more about you know the Khoisan people and so I'm also learning a lot yeah. about it but just for that conversation to start and then basically just yeah. so that people are educated at the end of the day and are you going to be working with your fashion brand and of course still doing some some youth work in the community juggling both or are you full-time now in fashion I, I think for now yes i will go full-time into fashion but i mean we meet people on a daily basis so it's not to say like if someone needs help i'm not gonna exactly. help the person but i mean that's something that i'll always do well best of luck thank yes. you so much for being thank on the show so much. and for sharing your fantastic thank you so much for having me. after the break noble j performs hit smashing new single wavy live in the love we'll be right back
two, one, two, one, two. They don't know about me. 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 Very soon they go know about me. They don't know about me. Very soon they go know about me. They don't know about me. They don't know about me. Very soon they go know about me. Very soon they go know about me. They don't know about me. They don't know about me. Very soon they gonna know about me. Very soon they gonna know about me. I'm so wavy, wavy, wavy. From the start, and I know I'm so wavy. I'm so wavy, wavy, wavy. From the start. Man, I know I'm so crazy. Business and business, money and <laughs> we getting both, so there's nothing that's missing when we in the building. It's <clears throat> paying the money we getting, it's touching the ceiling. My cup burn is over, I'm not even spilling. My neck is all icing, I'm not even chilling. And if <laughs> Rami is ready and willing to let me get in, you better believe me. She look like angel, bet she a demon, screaming, no Lord, like every religion. Cop <laughs> that you can't afford. You remember when I couldn't afford it? Ford, not a Benz, got a limo chain like the president in it. Wait, there's a celebrity in it. Views, one of the best in the business, you're acting as if you'll be getting it with it. I fear nobody these days, no KOs or AKAs when it comes to. Rap. My syllables are like 8K strays, better duck for the bullet, we can shades in your face, tell us <laughs> Save it a taste, plus a nut in the face of the nation Hip-hop ain't been the same since Fuse been playing on the radio station By the way, my name Fuse D, if you ain't know, cause I ain't been famous But I get the kind of respect that they don't, and it's so strange I've been in this rap since the day that I came in to this game And <laughs> change and just know that I'm here to stay and take over this game You claiming, everybody gonna know my name Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, the theme for this year's The Sun Met is African luxury, precious metals. So what outfit would you and your partner wear? What would you, go, what you, would you and your partner wear if you were to win a VVIP experience to attend The Sun Met on the 26th of January? So all you need to do is comment on the competition post on the Afternoon Express Facebook page and stand a chance to win a VVIP experience to the value of 30 thousand rand so competition closes at a minute to midnight on monday the 21st of january 2019 t's and c's apply so good luck everyone I'm so looking forward to seeing your outfit suggestions on our Facebook page. I hope you guys are being creative as possible and truly embracing the theme of action, African luxury, precious metals. I can't wait for that. Now, Noble J's love for, the, for his music has earned him the recognition of South Africa's top musicians in the industry. We get to hear exactly why his music has made it all over the airwaves. Take it away, Noble J. The stage Thank is yours. Let so <laughs> them know about me. They don't know about me. Very soon they gonna know about me. Very soon they gonna know about me. They don't know about me. They don't know about me. Very soon they gonna know about me. Very soon they gonna know about me. I'm so wavy, wavy, wavy. From the start, man, I know I'm so wavy. I'm so wavy. Wavy, wavy, from the start, man, I know I'm so wavy. 
business and business money and we getting both so there's nothing that's missing when we in the building it's paying the money we getting it's setting the ceiling my cup running over i'm not even spilling my neck is all ice and i'm not even chilling and if try me is ready and willing to let me get in it you better believe me she look like angel bet she a demon screaming no oh lord like every religion Cop that you can't afford it. you remember when i couldn't afford it for not a band's got a little like the president in it wait there's a celebrity in it views one of the best in the business you're acting as if you'll be getting it with it i fear nobody these days no ko's or aka's when it come to rap my syllables are like aka's trades better duck for the bullet with a in your face tell us save it a taste plus a nut in the face of the nation hip-hop ain't been the same since fuse been playing on the radio station by the way my name fuse d if you ain't know because i ain't been famous but i get the kind of respect that they don't and it's so strange i've been in this rap since the day that i came in to this game and changing just know that i'm here to stay and take over this game you claiming everybody don't know my name they don't know about me they don't know about me very soon they gonna know about me very soon they gonna know about me they don't know about me they don't know about me very soon they gonna know about me very soon they gonna know about me i'm so wavy 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 from the start man i know i'm so wavy i'm so wavy 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 from the start man i know i'm so wavy got them i got the feeling never let them deceive it straight to the top i'm moving nothing ever can stop me i got the vibe with this us i got the vibe with contest i got the vibe we can't tell getting rich getting paid all i do is cash no crazy search me in your flat for me find me when the boys lead us so wavy study on making money move what you know about this two chains on my pockets Stick it in the bush, you got this. Tell me the fuck gon' stop this here. It's safe to say, not a single soul. A nigga go harder than a brick of gold. I rewrote the shit like Da Vinci. I just might have reinvented the code. Man, I've been really giving niggas hope. With every minute I done been a O. Man, I get women off the center fold. Man, that's the shit nigga living for. And then you act as if you didn't know that I've been out here really killing flows. And I've been out here really switching homes. In every city, everywhere I go. They don't know about me. They don't know about me. Very soon they gonna know about me. Very soon they gonna know about me. They don't know about me. They don't know about me. Very soon they gonna know about me. Very soon they gonna know about me. I'm so wavy, wavy, wavy. From the start, man, I know I'm so wavy. I'm so wavy, wavy, wavy. From the start. Man, I know I'm so crazy. Noble Jay, please come over and join us. I mean, you've got us feeling hella wavy after that. How are we going to make it to Friday? Wow. <laughs> I'm already ignited into weekend mode. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Every day is a party, man. Every <laughs> day party. is Every a day. party. Yeah. Exactly. But I'm so, your, your journeys have been so different, so vast, but it's all brought you on this couch today. Mm -hmm. Courtney, you had, you started with giving back before feeding your own career. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you would do differently? Um, because I'm sure there's a lot you've learned from giving that has fed the entrepreneur that you today. I don't think I would do any, anything differently. Um, I think what I, what I would do maybe is um, take care of myself more because if I'm not strong, I'm not able to you know, feed someone else. And so I think that is the biggest lesson that I have learned because I haven't poured into myself. Mm -hmm. And so there were moments where I felt myself like, oh, I'm going to die, you know, because I just felt so depleted in many ways. Um, yeah, so that's just basically yeah. the biggest lesson that I've learned. And that makes so much sense. I mean, a lot of us, I feel, make the same mistake. Mm. Yeah. Where you just keep giving to whether it's family, yeah. whether mm. it's uh, your children, and not giving back to yourself. I think yeah. you always have to put yourself first. It reminds me of that one analogy. You know, mm. when you're in an airplane and something goes wrong and you mm. get those air masks. Yeah. You first have to do your air mask, your air mask, before, before you yeah. do somebody else. else. Yeah. So, mm. But, I mean, your journey's been amazing. Mm. Entrepreneurship is really difficult. And they say that it takes like two years, if your business can yeah. survive for two years, then you've kind you've of made it. But yeah. those first two years are gonna be so difficult. Difficult. What do you think people need to remember to survive those two years? Because I mean, obviously, there's stuff like capital, there's yeah. stuff like uh, staying liquid so that yeah. you've got money moving through your business. What else do, do especially young aspiring entrepreneurs need to take, take, take caution of? I, I believe that um, from what we did is that 
we reinvested whatever we got, you know. Yeah. And give yourself actually to your business, mm. yeah. you know, instead of trying to hire people mm. to do the work for you, yeah. get into it and get mm. dirty. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, that's what I did for the first two years. And it saves you a lot of money. Mm. It, gives, it gives the client, you know, a sense of, I want to see this guy again because yeah. it's his business, but, you know, he's also getting his hands dirty. Yeah. Um, I think that's the most important because before the glitz and glam, yeah. You know, you've got to, got to yeah, give. The most amount of money isn't made in glamorous places. True. Thank you so much for being here. So join us again tomorrow as we chat to actress Bushlen Gaba on the show. I Thank you so much to our amazing guests. I'm absolutely Thank excited you. for tomorrow's show. Thank you so much for coming Thank through. You. Otherwise, see you same time, same place tomorrow. Thank Good you. Good night. God Thank bless. You. Cheers. Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.